It is me. I am him. It is about 9.30 a.m. You feel me? I'm not going to even front like I got the energy to just kill it today. And I also have a game today. First time back on the field since... Since I played with Mexico, I think. Oh, never mind. I have to play the other day in front. Like, I got the energy today. I'm tired as hell, you know. This week's been a hard grind, but I've taken it like crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be a light day in the gym. Nice run. We got some lessons. And I had to cancel practice. But I didn't forget, like, my kids are still students and stuff. So, they have a bunch of school events and stuff. So, we weren't going to have enough to do what I wanted to do today. I wanted to get them away with squad, But... It is what it is, you know. I'll, I'll be available for them tomorrow, and I got another game Sunday that I have to play in, so it's a good grind this week. This is what it's about. It's what I make it about, you know what I mean? First off, like I said, God first, family, all that. But when it comes to the grind, like, I want to do this to stay young. I feel young as hell. I feel I feel the physique, <laughs> the shit that don't make me stress, you feel me? So. I'm about to get it in the way to see what the day brings today, man. We got a lot to do. And, uh, I got to run some errands before I do my lesson and then go straight to the feel, feel, feel where it's real, real, real. <laughs> yes! What bag said, he ain't no gangsters, he ain't no gangsters, he ain't did no gangsters, that's what they said. I done seen so many end up misled, dead, whatever. But yeah, whoo, we really live this shit, man. I went and got it tatted on me for no reason, you feel me? Well, so we do this shit for real, them folks do it for 100 likes. Every day I'm out here getting better. What's my favorite saying? Look at this physique, does it look like I'm stressing, man? Yeah, but... I'm blessed. I got out of here. I got in here. Got it in. Got it in quick. Hit it hard. Hit it mighty. You feel me? Now let's attack the day. I got some lessons, and I freaking love client new client text while I'm in the gym, man. Making money while making money while making money. But hey, let's win the rest of the day. And I like to show my jailhouse boobies off for you on game day. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Tama. Tell me I forgot them bony shoulders. I say, I say that's about 88, 89 down low. Quit playing with them, man. I love my fans. I'm going hard. I'm going hard for you guys. I'm going hard for myself, my daughter, of course, you know, God, all that. But, you know, to motivate somebody, this is possible. Anything you do, it just takes hard work, takes dedication. But the world we live in, they think that's enough. You know, hey, I worked. I put in the extra work. Man, that's why I tell my kids. I say, look, you see all these kids at this facility? There's about 100 kids putting extra work. What sets you apart? It's that it factor, believing you can do it, having that shit you can't teach, and that dog mentality is me versus me every single goddamn day. And I ain't never ran from a fella. And if I did, 
cut this physique off. <laughs> Peace. Well, so great grind today. Like I said, I didn't hit the field, but I did hit the gym pretty hard. I'd say, you know, a light day, still a hard day if you if you work out right. And um, now it's crazy. So for those of you who don't know my baseball background, I went to a junior college. But after that, I went to University of Arkansas, Pond Bluff, and Prairie View a and University for my COVID year. The other one year I went to Prairie View and A&M. And then we're, they both are in the same conference, the SWAC. So this series, they play each other. And last year, when we played Palm Love, them, you can ask them boy. I teed up and I let them boy know who was him with you real quick. Right quick pass in a hurry. For real, for real. But I'm excited to go see both sides of it, man. I, I feel like I found myself in Palm Bluff, but I turned myself into domination in Prairie View. You know what I mean? I had to t separate myself when I was in Arkansas from everybody around, like, you know, that I knew and just reevaluate myself and really know like what it means to be you know on the journey by yourself of course you got god but you know if something would have happened mom and dad was eight hours away you'd have to make some shake by then you know what i mean so it really taught me how to just finesse like be on my own and then my senior year, my COVID senior year i was taking care of my grandma you know when my grandpa was in the hospital he eventually passed away but <clears throat> It was crazy, man. Like, but everything happens for a reason. It set me up for what was next. Cause when I got told I wasn't going back to Pine Bluff, it was crazy. It was a buddy of mine that I played with that Pine Bluff, and he was like, "Hey, I'm throwing a. Uh, you're trying to catch a pin at Prairie View. Do the pin. Co the coach. And he was like, "Hey, you go to Pine Bluff, huh? Yeah. I was like, "Why are you looking for some pitching? Whoop de whoop de whoop. Seven point six twos. We don't throw shade. On to the pro level. Even though, hey." I, I truly think I'm going to get my chance again some way, somehow. You know, God's been putting me around. He's been showing me. It's all about just sitting back. Not sitting back as in doing nothing, but grinding and waiting for his time. Because I'm only getting better. I'm like, one, baby, yeah. So let's get to this game and see what it is. Like, you know, the whole stomping ground a year ago. TV versus UATV. Yeah, they hit it. You know, both pretty well. Still tripping. I'm gonna go and lock in and watch the game type shit. We got PPO 6-3. Feels like I live on a baseball field, right? A lot like this is movie of mine because shit, that's where I want to be most of my time. Uh, PB was up 6-3 in Arkansas Pine Bluff. Both teams looked all right, man. I miss my boy C. James. I wish he would have been there. But, you know, shout out to PV for handling their business. Now it's time to go handle mine, play some semi-pro. So <laughs> dice it up. I'll get you need to record for y'all and uh, channel pitch by pitch and show y'all how I do tonight. Like, see if the work I put in is working. I'm working on the weekend like usual. <laughs> you know, I'm about to go play my game. Yeah, for real, for real. So, it's good. Time to grind. Yeah, baby. Game day. A little, a little swag this week. Got my boys with me. Marlins versus Avengers, whatever. Finito. Got to clock in and lock in, so I got to quit making this video. I'll get my peeps to record this shit. My boy, Corey. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, big dubs. Came back through four, four scoreless innings. Did not hit well. Timing was off, you know. I was uh, pulling off just a little bit. Down by four, came back in the last inning, and then I threw two extra innings. So, hey, it is what it is. I do what I do, and I handle business. You know, they told me to come back tomorrow and play again, so guess what? I'm coming back tomorrow after my lessons. I'm going to hit the ground again, and then guess what? Another game Sunday, you know, them boy, I'm playing the hot shots. So for those of you who don't know, I used to play for the hot shots. And those are the semi-pro team I played with last season, and we won it. Damn good team. But, hey, they know what it is. Like, they see the dog, they know a dog, and they some dogs. But I feel like I'm a bigger dog. So, yeah, show me the Glock and show me a work or something.